delighted to be here at the launch of FinBase 2030 in South Africa. The purpose of this event is to raise awareness of the SDGs and most importantly the role of charter accountants in finance and business. The sustainable development goals set by the UN are not a nice to have, they are an absolute must on the agenda and I look forward to seeing what some of South Africa's brightest young minds come up with as we launch the task force for Finbus 2030 in South Africa. I'm looking forward to engaging uh, to debate and also to hear a different perspective from other individuals on what we should do in order to tackle these goals to make South Africa and the world a better place. I'm very happy to be here and I look forward to having more of these because today we're only covering four and there are 17 and in each one of those is probably subcategories of each goal. So the engagement and the things that matter I think is very, very important so I look forward to that. Uh, we want to see doers, we don't want this to be another talking show obviously the, the, the talking is necessary at the beginning to stimulate the debate, but uh, the value of this session will be on the specific actions that these leaders will commit to taking forward to improve things in South Africa. The single greatest leader the world has ever seen came from this country. So being part of the One Young World community is amazing because you get these types of opportunities. So sitting in a room with people leading finance, leading business, I really look forward to having these conversations with people in finance and business and making the SDGs happen. Corruption stalks the walls of power in every single country, in every single one of them. You are not alone. I would turn here um, in my messages and the work we'll do at Prindles to the notion that the difference that can be made on the ground by financial businesses with regard to the sustainable development goals in the broader picture but also to the future of the African continent in the short term as well as in the long term is absolutely vital. To maximize the reach and the impact, uh, it is essential that there is collaboration worldwide and a global perspective. So having these regional task forces with people from all over the world addressing these issues is crucial. These are global challenges and it will need global solutions and global action. I really think we need to focus on education. We need to focus on empowering and equipping our youth to, to get their best selves out there. Behind me you can see the young accountants hard at work trying to come up with five issues to the four SDGs that we've posed to them and also solutions to those five issues that they've identified. We need people to take action and, and that's going to be the one thing that, sets a, that will set Finbus apart from, from, from any other forum is that if we can get this right and take action and, and, and bring these policies and procedures into implementation, um, I think that's one thing that's going to set everything apart and that's what we critically need. I think it's time that our generation, the youngsters, actually push for change. I think the days of looking back and saying someone else has to do it is over. And you look at, I look at the young people who are immigrating out of the country and I say, why? You know, we are the ones who can fix it. We are the ones who can do the change. And it's time we stop looking around and realize that we are the change that we need at right now. We need to set some goals, um, set some uh, measurement uh, criteria on how we're going to measure success or not, and just get on with it and just measure ourselves every year about to what extent are we meeting our objectives. No more talk, enough talk now. There's enough discussion. We all know the problem. Let's just fix it. Ask yourself, if not now, then when? If not me, then who? South Africa's had some really big and exciting wins last year, but let's learn to set the bar where it really matters. And I am not hopeful. I am confident that this work will be done. So thank you. Thank you to particularly to Investec, and to the Institute of Chartered Accountants worldwide. This is a fantastic initiative and it's already delivering. And that's the business of the day, delivery.